Hey everybody, welcome to The Warp, I'm Jack Rita. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the custom player system boards that I made for my custom version of Cosmic Encounter, as well as the reverse hex system effects that are on the opposite sides of the boards. So I've made a custom version of Cosmic Encounter uh, three different times. I have three different sets. Uh, one is... Uh, using the postscript that was posted on the Alt Board Games Rec CE news group way back when. Um, it was during the Mayfair days that I did that. Uh, I did a second set um, that these player boards were made for, um, and that was post Avalon Hill, but pre-Fantasy Flight. And the third set was a post-Fantasy Flight set um, that took advantage of some of the existing components in that edition. So I used the uh, individual player planets for it. But every once in a while, I do like to use these player boards, and I do like the reverse hex effect. So um, I've got enough here. So I've got, uh, I've got red, and I've got purple, and I've got gray, green, white, brown, orange, blue, pink, yellow, and then I warp with the pra, um, and I had um, custom tokens made uh, from little wooden discs that had stickers on them for the different player colors, and on the opposite sides, there were special effects tokens, which I'll cover in a separate video. Uh, but I made these boards, and they're pretty, pretty thick. It's pretty good um, material, uh, and part of it was because I did want to add the reverse hex effects on there. And this is something that the Mayfair edition did. They had the the six player colors that were in there with your two shades of blue. And um, on the backs, they had reverse hex effects. And that was part of the base game, which I appreciated. I liked that. Um, they still only had the six effects. Um, and they weren't the exact same six that were from the original Eon edition. So reverse hexes were something that came out in the ninth expansion of the Eon edition. And they were basically stickers that you would stick on your hexagon boards. And each one was a unique effect. So I uh, made these sheets to explain what the effects are. So we have, for instance, we have the gas giant where your entire system is just one big planet. And there are special rules for how that works, but it basically means that other players can only ever get one foreign colony in your system, which was interesting. Uh, the world ships uh, did things with the Destiny deck um, that were kind of interesting, and I'm not going to cover all the effects on here. It's all on the warp, and it's on Board Game Geek, so it's easy to find. Uh, Nebula had a thing where the different planet that is targeted basically turned off that uh, component or variant or what have you uh, for that encounter. So you would not be able to use uh, edicts, which were artifacts, or your alien power, depending on which planet you were targeting. Space Dust, you didn't have any planets. You just had all your ships out there, and there were special rules for how that worked. The Orc Cloud made use of the um, comets, which were part of the Destiny deck in the Mayfair edition. So they were kind of in between special destiny and hazards. They were events that you could play. So you, with the Orc Cloud player, you had a bunch that you could play individually. Binary, you basically had two aliens, and the one that you would use depends on which one is being attacked. And as offense, you had the option of using it. The spiral system uh, gained you rewards at the end of the encounter, depending on which planet was attacked. Uh, the ring system, uh, the rings were counting as planets, and you got a uh, numerical bonus. There's little numbers on those rings that you get to add to your, your totals. The pulsar system, uh, before you played your cards, you could determine whether the higher or lower total was going to win in that encounter. And then the rosette was a system that uh, your ships on adjacent planets would can contribute to uh, your encounter totals on there. And so the boards themselves, so I got the red and the art here is, um, this is actually from the Avalon Hill edition where I used it, but on the back, you've got your uh, gas giant. Um, this purple was not a color in the Avalon Hill edition. So I made these planets as well. And purple was the world ship system. 
Uh, same thing with gray is a color that I added in there and gray is pulsar. Green, uh, I believe, is a color from the Avalon Hill edition and they got to be the Oort cloud. Uh, white was uh, planets that I uh, made and add on there. That was space dust. Um, I made the uh, the brown system. I know how that sounds, but uh, and they are spiral. Uh, orange was another one that I made on my own, and then uh, they are the binary system. Blue is from Avalon Hill, so I really liked the individual planet art. I always thought that was neat. Uh, they get to, to be the rings system. Uh, I did the planets on pink. Uh, I'm pretty sure that actually is Jupiter. Um, and they are the uh, nebula system. Uh, yellow is an Avalon Hill color. So this art is from Avalon Hill. And they are rosette. And then I made a warp with a pra, And that was the special reverse hex uh, sticker from the Eon edition. When Mayfair did it, they actually didn't use the pra. They used something called the fan. And I do have a fan, but I've actually changed the rules for how it works. And again, that is online as well, but it is accommodating all of the extra colors that I've added in for my custom set uh, on there. And so there you have it. That is it. I do I do like the reverse hexes. I'm a bit of an astronomy nut. So I all of the different space elements of Cosmic Encounter, which is not a super sci-fi game. It has the spaceships and has planets, but... Um, you know, the aliens, uh, they could be, um, other than, they could be something other than aliens. It could be something else. It could be a fantasy game. It could be, uh, any number of other, uh, themes. Uh, so the sci-fi theme is not super, uh, prevalent in the game. So I like adding other things in there. That's, I think that's why I like moons and space stations so much is because they are, again, astronomical in nature. So the the reverse hex or special systems, I, I think, are neat. Uh, I would like to see those in the Fantasy Flight Edition. It's really the only thing that is not part of the Fantasy Flight Edition. So if Fantasy Flight, they want that edition to be the definitive edition of Cosmic Encounter, and I believe that they do, then I think that the special systems would be a good fit uh, and a good addition to it. Um, some of these could certainly be revamped and improved. And in light of the fact that you do have the individual planets in the game, um, some way to uh, meld those two worlds together. So I think there's work to be done, but I like those effects. I like everyone having a unique system and uh, and having to deal with that uh, in your destiny decisions when you have them and then just dealing with it when you don't have them. So there you have it. Let me know if you've ever played with reverse hexes. Um, whether it was with Eon or with the Mayfair editions and uh, what you thought of that experience. Uh, I think more than six would also be great. Um, and there's always been talk on Board Game Geek about other ideas as well as some that were on the internet. And that's where I got some of these um, special system ideas, as it were. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.